tonight. Great job to them. Everybody Ladies and gentlemen, I, I give you James. Thank you. Get out to the bartenders, every act that was performed earlier. Please tip the bartenders before the end of tonight. They work incredibly hard. Please. So a round of applause. Anybody actually supported Trump this election? No. No? All right, good. Uh, now for me, I'm actually very happy Trump won. And only because now the arguments with my family can finally stop. So they're Trump supporters, I clearly am not. But that does not stop my family from having to tell me every single time that Trump won. I could be eating tacos, which I did the other day, and all my parents could say was, hey, uh, you know that Trump isn't gonna actually deport all the Mexicans, we'll still have tacos in Trump's America. Tacos will be the best, the greatest, and most delicious. My only issue with this is that with my parents doing this, I cannot have alone time to myself because I'm afraid that my mom's gonna come into the room, open up the door and be like, hey, guess what? Trump won. Congratulations. Four years of this, possibly eight years. Yeah. So how do you feel about Hillary now? Huh? Or Bernie Sanders? Same way I did before. Exactly. Same freaking way. Still hate him. Still absolutely hate them. And by the way, does anybody know that Blank Pence actually said the cure for homosexuality is Cialis? Does anybody actually know that? Now for a second, you actually thought he said that, but no, it was the schizophrenic I roomed with last week when I was in a mental health facility. That's the one that said it. But for a second, you believed it was Mike Pence. Now, I was in a mental health facility earlier this past week, and this is a true story, not making it up whatsoever. And I just want to tell you how, how a mental health facility works. I go in there and we, we actually end up having cigarette breaks. And there's one guy sitting on the stool outside and he has restless legs. So he's constantly doing this the entire time. And he begins to say, so I have HIV. What type of special care are you guys gonna give me this evening? Absolutely none is what the mental health said, uh, mental health tech said. And he said, please, if you could, keep that to yourself. <laughs> that is absolutely something you should keep to yourself. And what makes it worse is that, of course, I roomed with the schizophrenic. He actually believes that the following is his offspring. Janet Jackson, Aaliyah, Nicki Minaj, and Beyonce. And if you Google him, which I don't really want to give his name, at all, but, in, but you can Google the case in 1994, he was arrested for stalking Janet Jackson, actually ended up going to court for it, and then they dropped the case because he was clinically insane. That is what I was dealing with in this mental health facility. Now, we had one little bit of freedom, and it was a Gatorade jug right in the back of the facility, so any single time I wanted water, I can go get it. I was actually in charge of my thirst. My medication needed me to take water. It was right there. And this guy, we'll call him Frank, because it's his actual name, throws the jug down and then starts screaming, goes into the quiet room, punches a hole in the wall, because obviously he doesn't understand what the definition of quiet room actually is, and goes out and ends up with him on a stretcher out. I get to greet him later that night, and I could not fall asleep. There is absolutely no compassion in these facilities to a point where they actually na named one woman the resident MR. And if you don't know what MR is, what the mental health tech told me is it's their polite way of saying mentally retarded. And I felt absolutely disgusted to hear this word until I was walking across into my room and there she was, completely naked and walking across her room as though it was a scene out of signs when the alien is walking across for the birthday party, just walking like this. <laughs> now, I'm not making fun of her whatsoever, and I think it's actually cruel the way they treated her. They laughed at her, they belittled her in every single sense of the word. When it comes to mental health, it's actually not something that's like too, like I don't like to joke about it, People actually suffer it. They really do. But 
my buddy ended up naming his kid after a D&D character, so I really hope that there's more compassionate care. I hope it's not the Demogorgon. So, <laughs> so he ends up going to those facilities in case he hates his name, which is Adric. Anyway, you guys have a good night. Okay, Thank right. you. I know that. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's it? Have a good night, guys. Thank you. All right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.